Welcome to a journey through the captivating world of post-impressionist landscapes as we explore the artistic genius of Gustave Loiseau. Loiseau possessed an extraordinary ability to transform ordinary scenes into mesmerizing works of art. His dedication to capturing the essence of nature and his innovative use of color and texture left a lasting mark on the art world. These landscapes are more than just paintings. They are windows into the soul of an artist who sought to capture the timeless essence of the world around him. One of the foremost post-impressionist painters, Gustave Loiseau was profoundly influenced by the great impressionist artists. In 1895, Claude Monet and Pierre-Auguste Renoir introduced the young painter to their art dealer, Paul durand -Ruel. And from that point onwards, durand -Ruel would support Loiseau and promote his work. Loiseau's first solo exhibition was held at Gallery durand -Ruel in 1898. This remarkably vibrant painting was exhibited in 1898 at the first exhibition and reveals the young artist's use of bold color inspired by his time in pont -a -Mont. Over the course of Loiseau's relationship with Gallery Duran Ruel, the gallery bought more than 1,000 works from the artist and exhibited his work in 15 solo exhibitions in Paris and New York. Duran Ruel would carefully label the backs of these canvases and many of the works in our collection retain these crucial parts of their history. These ambient river landscapes, painted in the first decade of the 20th century, show the influence of the Impressionists. Using rich, spontaneous brushwork, Loiseau was able to capture complex weather and atmosphere. He particularly delighted in capturing the luscious river valleys of rural France, such as the River Seine, the Oise, and the River Yon. In this work depicting the banks of the River Seine, Loiseau transforms a windy autumnal day into a riot of colour and movement, animated with outstanding range of tone and hues. Illustrating a clear, bright day along the River Oise, this work depicts the industrial bustle of Pontoise with factories billowing smoke on the horizon in the distance. Loiseau acquired land in Pontoise in 1903 and built his home and workshop at this very spot beside the River Oise. He painted this subject in several compositions that range from misty mornings to brilliant sunshine-filled afternoons, such as can be seen in this artwork. One can imagine that on this bright summer's day, Loiseau was enticed outdoors to set up his easel within the close proximity to his studio and capture these two delicately painted figures strolling along the riverside. Like the Impressionists, Loiseau applied paint with thick impasto brushstrokes to create texture and contrast throughout his compositions. His use of delicate feathered brushstrokes are most visibly shown in these river landscapes. Transient images of foliage dotted along the riverbank are captured in spontaneous sweeping brushstrokes in a pointillist manner. Loiseau's technique and the chromatic variety of his palette express an extraordinary ability to synthesize Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. These works are a wonderful evocation of the French countryside at the pinnacle of Loiseau's Impressionist manner. This painting of the River Eure in Normandy is one of my personal favorites. Painted in 1913, at a period when the artist was experimenting with his unique post-impressionist technique called entrelis, or cross-hatching. 
You can see these brush strokes in the sky and foliage, enlivening the surface and creating a sense of atmosphere and the feeling of a warm evening breeze. From 1913 onwards, Loiseau began a much freer approach, and this gem of a painting shows his supreme confidence and skill, moving beyond the confines of the Impressionist movement and the influence of his mentors, Claude Monet and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. The 1920s were a period of great exploration for Loiseau, and these two outstanding works reveal the development of his mature style which is characterised by a remarkable energy of vigorous brushwork and his unique entrelis technique. This work, painted in 1925, is from one of the most important series of Loiseau's urban views outside Paris, depicting the bustling fish market in the town of Fécamp in Normandy. Fécamp was a popular seaside resort and was frequented by Monet in the 1880s. Loiseau painted similar subjects, but enlivens them with his post-impressionist technique. Loiseau moved to the picturesque village of Audrey in 1901. From there, he painted some of his favorite themes, familiar village views, winding countryside paths, orchards and meadows, all of which come together in this charming pastoral work. Richly textured with an abundance of thick impasto, this magnificent countryside scene takes Loiseau's mature technique to its pinnacle. As we conclude our journey through the world of Gustave Loiseau's post-impressionist landscapes, we are left with a profound appreciation for the artist's remarkable vision. We've witnessed Loiseau's ability to capture the essence of the rural landscape, his skillful manipulation of colour and light, and his unrelenting pursuit of artistic innovation. These are not mere paintings. They are gateways to moments frozen in time, to the very soul of nature, as seen through the eyes of a true master. Gustave Loiseau's legacy endures inspiring generations of artists and art lovers alike. His unique blend of post-impressionism has left a lasting mark on the art world, reminding us of the power of individual expression and the beauty that surrounds us daily. Loiseau's paintings continue to remind us that in every brushstroke, in every play of color, lies a profound connection to the world around us.